Happy birthday to you. Oh, wow. oh. Hey. Good morning guys, hope you're doing well. I want to just recap this week's vlog. As you saw, it was my friend uh, Bryden's birthday. Uh, so this is now two th Thursdays ago. Uh, we went to Moonshine 152 in South Boston. Uh, really good place, uh, really good food, good service. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Enjoyed our time there. Uh, Saturday we continued the birthday festivities doing a little bit of a bar crawl. Uh, we started in Earl's and Prudential, and uh, Earl's is a great atmosphere if you've never been uh, for like a fancy dinner or an anniversary. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, we went to the Corner Tavern afterwards. Uh, the prices are very reasonable here. Uh, a lot of comfort food. I don't think there were any vegan options, uh, just as a heads up. Uh, but a good place, a good environment. And then Sunday, or and then we went to Cheeky Monkey after that. Uh, in Fenway, always a good vibe as well. They've got some uh, pool and ping pong tables um, uh, at their place as well. Sunday went to the container store to get a bin for some clothes of mine. Um, another great place. <laughs> Uh, for storage uh, things and then uh, went to Faneuil Hall uh, and around the wharf. Uh, always fun being there uh, in the summer because it's a really touristy area of Boston. And then finally went to uh, a Babson alumni happy hour on 100 Federal Street um, which was another great um, time just seeing people I haven't seen in a while and uh, having great conversations 
So actually, that's that's my thought of the week. Honestly, is the power of conversations. Um, it's such a key to life, you know. Um, in so many different aspects, whether um, you're trying to tell someone about their experience, like on that Thursday, you know, I told people about my New Orleans trip and you know the plantation tour and. Um, you know, seeing the list of, you know, slaves, not only listed out, but their um, value, their age and all that, you know, to the point where, you know, if a plantation owner nearby wants to come and buy, he can just look at this list and say, I want to buy this person. Um, you know, br Saturday, Brad and I talked about travel, you know, and I'm someone who innately isn't someone that like, has a large desire for like travel which you know um i think is kind of unusual and um you know brian was telling me you know just be who you are there's no need to feel self-conscious about that um and then you know arushi simran and uh, thunvi and i talked about growth uh, we talked about making you know decisions in life uh, and i guess you know, one of the philosophies that I have is there are no perfect decisions in life. Um, you know, you obviously make decisions with the best calculated judgment, but nobody knows what's going to happen, right? You may, for example, go into an industry um, that you don't think is useful, but then maybe 20 years later, you're starting a business and you need that industry knowledge, you know, to do well. And then it reappears and it's suddenly that year that you think is not useful ends up being useful 20 years later. You know, the dots don't make sense often in the present. They only only connect as we look back in hindsight. Uh, so that's what I would, I would say for anyone else out there trying to make decisions. Hope you guys are well. Um, thanks for watching.